Welcome to this video tutorial. I hope you know what e-commerce means or online shopping or online store means. You have seen so many of them Alibaba, Banggood, Express, Jumia, Conga, and very many of them. I want to let you know that you can own something like that. You can have your own online store or online shop. It doesn't actually mean that you can say everything, you can start from somewhere. You can meet a company that start marketing their product online. So here I'm going to walk you through how you can create a website which you can use for that. But before you do that, let me give you all the requirements you need to enable you create a, an e-commerce website. First of all, you have to choose the e-commerce platform. You can use Shopify, WordPress, Blogger, PHB, React, or so many of them, depending on your budget. Then the next thing you set up your store, you may decide to still have a physical store where you can select, the, collect the item and send to a buyer. Then the next thing you are going to do, add your product. So if you want to go into micro niche, that you want to say a particular thing, make sure you add those things to your store. Then you choose a payment gateway. This is important. You have to make sure that your payment gateway is secured. Then the next thing you have to launch your store. So here I'm going into micro niche. A product called Mzu. There are three supplements. On the type blogger. Make sure you have your Gmail address. Because if you don't have your Gmail address, it will require you to get one. So we'll click on create a unique blogger. So let's assume this is uh, let's assume this is our website. Uh, we're going to create a new one. And also make that name related to market. So let me choose something like uh, market square. This title. Market Square related to market. I'll say next. So let's see whether Market Square is available for our website. If it's not available, we'll find something that is related to it. See, it's not available. So let me add something. Say to Market Square. When you say to market square, it seems you are sending somebody to the market. So when somebody say to market square, it relates to market. For so they can think and produce your own. Make sure you are creative. So say save. Good, I've set up the website. So let's test whether it's working by writing a new post. Or say welcome to our market square. Yeah, welcome message. I'll click here, then upload image from my computer. I have some catchy image. Add our lab here. Let's assume this is a market one or product one. We'll publish this and say confirm. So let's test our post or test our website. So this is how it looks like. So here I decide to use a micro niche. This product is called uh, Mzu. It's a dietary supplement or food supplement product. So you can use this kind of a thing and start your online shopping. So what you're going to do, make sure you contact the company. Then you write product review. If somebody order for it, you contact the company and supply the person. You can also buy it and keep on your store and start selling. So these are their products. We have uh, Umzu Money Miracle, Umzu Mukuna, Umzu Zuenzaim, Umzu Beten, 
we have uh, umzu immune dietary supplement umzu chalin umzu zu scv wow the name sounds funny i have a lot of products the umzu testron s that the tetrason booster umzu zu light umzu redwood this is the most popular one nitric acid and circulatory support we also have a uh, mzu zu college mzu cottagen mzu sesoni and uh, so many of them so you can write a review about them and start selling them on your online shop you can get another product and do the same thing this is just an example which i'm using here so let's change our team and use a uh, e-commerce team so first of all backup our present team in case if anything happen we can restore it back then the next thing we're going to do we'll click on edit html so this is our team they have downloaded a team i'll go and check it the team we're going to use this particular one I will open it with a uh, notepad plus plus. I'm going to copy this one. You can use Ctrl C and copy. Then we'll select all. Then say copy. You can use Ctrl C to make the work faster. Then I'll delete all these ones. Now click on delete. Before I delete, you select all as well. Then delete all. Then I'll paste. The one I copied, then save. It's processing. Good update successful. So let's uh, take a look at for. Let's take a look at our website once again. See how it look like. Good. We now have a online shopping website or e-commerce website. You can see it here. So the next thing we're going to do is to edit. This is the old one. This is how the old one look like. And this is the new one. This is how, if you are using mobile, how it look like. So for those that are using mobile, this is how it's going to look like. So click on layout and we'll start uh, editing. So we'll have many things we are going to edit. Ranging from payments details then some links and other things so we'll click on payment option i'll we'll scroll down a little bit here use a uh, example paypal so we're going to change this to our email address assume you have a paypal account you put your paypal email there After that, you save. Make sure once you finish any one, you save. We can take one up and down. Then we can change the currency. If you want to use dollar, leave it there. We save. Make sure you save before you exit. So the same way we are going to do other ones. We we'll check on this one. You can take any of them. This is a the QR code now the scanner code or whatever let's paste it and see how it look like this is it this is pay time QR barcode so we can edit it put another thing or you can delete you can move it up and down then bank details that one is also important because that is your bank account that's going to receive money 
I will change it and add your own. The one that is not relevant, you delete it. Most I have to delete what is not relevant in websites because it will make the website uh, to be faster. So you can change everything here to your own. Then after that, you save. So the next thing we are going to do, we have to, if you look at this thing, you can see price, you can see items, and you can see all that. So the next thing we are going to do, here you can add to cart, then let's view cart, show us error 404, let's view checkout, it also show us error 404. So let's create pages that will take care of cut and uh, check out create a new page we'll call this page cut c a r t then you go to option you click on option then do not allow show comment so don't allow comment in there then we'll create another new page again i'll call that page uh, checkout these two things are important if you don't create them you will not uh, have anything when somebody click on checkout or view cards so we don't allow comment there as well so then the next thing now we're going to add price on our items i'm going to use only one as an example so we type price slash the price you want there then when you are done you highlight it you can make it bold then use a strike strike through you also type size here you can change this size to color as you may have a different color of that particular product but before you do that first let's type uh, the off percent that attract buyers or once they see some percentage of it serves as bonus to them so this last one i'm um, using size this size you can use color but if you have different sizes you can use it so that buyer can choose the size they want after that you update that particular page so let's uh, refresh here and see whether it's going to reflect good this is the percentage the off percentage we just added this particular one so let's open that item good see the size if you have a different size you can use this as color then see the price also here that's the price we just added now so let's see you can add it add to cut then let's view the cut see whether that page we added is working good look at it here the page is working perfectly so we can proceed to checkout good and the checkout is also working perfectly so the buyer can add whatever they like on checkout please if you like this uh, video like the video and share with your friend and make sure you subscribe for more because the part two is coming